Mark, my friend, good to see you. Hey, Dave, I just realized the dog moved. <laughs> good eye. Good eye, man. It's finally now, moved. We've been doing this way too long. Dude. I know. <laughs> I thought I thought I was I literally thought because um you know, when I was in Texas and everywhere else that I was seeing people that, you know, we were actually going to be in the same room together. We were in Dallas together. I sent I know, you a message. But that's what I thought. I thought because of that, that we'd be in the same room from here on out. But here we are. Again. You know what's even funnier? You were on the radio with me that next morning. You're there on a Saturday, a Friday. Saturday, we just premiered our weekly radio show. This is going to air on 106.1 Kiss FM in Dallas as well. Uh, you were on the radio with me from uh, Uncharted the very next morning. I was yeah. hoping you were going to hear it. So, yeah, you were just down the street from me. Yeah. I found out later. But here we are. And interesting because last time you and I spoke, you mentioned Father Stu, and you were really excited about it. You were hoping I would see it, and you were hoping we would talk. Here we are. Mark, it's beautiful. It Thank is you. just everything that you got me ready for. I watched it with my mom. You know my mother. We both just looked at each other at the end and just were in, in silence, taking it all in. What makes this such a passion project for you? I've been so blessed and so fortunate. I've always been looking for things to do to really kind of share my faith and my experience and all the wonderful things that have happened to me since I focused on my faith. And so, um, you know, when this movie came to me, it just, it, a light went off. I realized what better way than in my wheelhouse, in my primary business as a producer and as an actor to tell this amazing story that is going to challenge people to look at the good in everybody and challenge people to be more open open and more accepting of people for who they are and to really encourage people not to lose faith and to have hope and to see a remarkable and extraordinary guy who suffered so much but did it with such dignity and grace in a time where people really need to be reminded of the importance of love and support and inclusion and all of those things. And everything that we've been through as a world community, Mark, oh, I think yeah. this is a story that we can all relate to and find hope and inspiration. When you think you have it bad, somebody has it worse, and how they deal with it is what brings strength. That's what I got out of it. Um, you immersed yourself completely in this role, Mark. You you spoke with me last time about that, the, the weight, the physicality. Did that challenge you? What level, how next level was that for you as an actor? Uh, it was the most challenging uh you know, role that I've ever played, but also, and, and, you know, a movie and story to get told, but it's also the most fulfilling, you know? It's one of those things where it'd be hard pressed to find something more challenging and more fulfilling. But I think being the one to kind of bring a, a faith-based movie to the mainstream with a major studio uh, and kind of leading and being at the forefront of that, I think great stories are going to continue to come my way. And whether I'm telling them or helping others tell them, that's what I want to do. This, is, uh, this has been such a great gift for me. Even though it was a, a massive challenge, it's also been a great gift. And, and hopefully this will be the beginning of, of many great things that will really inspire and help people. How is Father Stu, Stuart Long, his name, uh, stayed and, and, and still is a part of your life now that the movie's out. It's you know his story, you know the family, friends. How has it stayed with you now? Oh my gosh, you know, Stu is, is relentless. Every time I talk to his dad or any of his uh, fellow priests and seminarians, they all say Stu is more, is, is more busy now than he'd ever been. This is all part of his plan. He's smiling down on us and he's also glaring at me every time I go into my office because I have his photographs everywhere and on, on the uh, cover of my script book and uh, challenging me to do more and saying this is only the beginning. So the, 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 the movie itself is kind of the entry point into doing more meaningful things. And, uh, and you know, he'll hold me to task for sure. And I embrace that because it's, it's far more fulfilling. Mark, I'm lucky to call you friend and I relish our friendship as I told you before. Love you, love this. As a fellow Catholic, Man, you said mass perfect. As a former altar server, nailed it. Do me a favor, give your mother a hug. I know you do and how much you love her and take care of her, but just give her one for me and, you know, every day give her an extra one. Enjoy all I the will. time, cherish all the moments that you guys have. 